Hi everyone, and we're here today to talk about LOSCON. So, uh, LOSCON uh, is an event we've we've had recently, but to set the story, who better to talk about it than the man himself? Uh, here's Loz. Hello everybody, this is Loz. In September of 2020, whilst riding my, riding my motorbike, I had a stroke. The resulting accident was both life-threatening and life-changing. I damaged nerves in my left shoulder, greatly reducing my mobility. And as you can imagine, that affected my hobbies. I had pretty much built a 3D printed R2 unit, but I realised I would not be able to finish it with the amount of sanding and priming that would need to be done. So originally, uh, a few of us, myself, Andy and Chris, had spoke about going to surprise laws, maybe organising it with a few other builders to all turn up on the day with droids, surprise him, organise it through his wife, uh, just to, to lift his spirits. Uh, and we we're all set to do this, but like with lockdowns and the ever-changing sphere of who and what can be in a garden, uh, in a public house. or in a house, uh, we we struggled to get it organised. Uh, and, uh, and, and then we, uh, well, you'll see what happens next. So I purchased a styrene kit from Mark Lee along with the foot shelves and drive units and then approached John Gowan and asked if he'd be willing to help me build it. He had a further conversation with Chris Williams and Andrew Smith and before we knew it, LOSCOM was born. This was a day where droid builders would come to my house and assemble this kit. So I got the call from Laws. I had um, I had one of the droid builders visiting that day and Mike Tadgett was at my house. We were doing a few bits, um, 3D printer related and a few other bits and bobs. Um, I was on the phone to Laws for a while. He went through the situation uh, and I explained, listen, a, a few of us were looking to come up anyway, looking to come and surprise visit you. So let me phone around, uh, gather, well, I get our people willing, but I reckon we could get a good few drive builders to turn up on the day and, and do some work and we'll make an event out of it, an event day. I had Mark at the house, Mark immediately said, yeah, happy to be involved, phoned Andy and Chris. They were both happy to be involved yep, definitely. and, and, uh, and could see the benefit in having sort of a build day, but to help a builder in need. Um, and, we need a build day to <laughs> yeah. So we we had a core group of four builders then that were ready, willing, and able to to go on. We all had differing experience. I'd never built a styrene droid. Chris and Andy had. Mark is building a wooden one, uh, but none of us had used the particular um, kit that's available. Uh, the um, the the one that Mark does. So that led on to loads of conversations a bit breakdown of uh, of work like what we needed to do builders were giving us advice on things to plan things to do before the day mark got in touch we had many conversations with mark lee uh, about what we needed to do um and we started dividing up the labor so myself and andy got the unfortunate and unenviable task of building our two's body because yep. we all know if the body goes wrong, everything's going to go wrong. Um, which we set about doing over various nights, long nights, some of them, uh, some yeah. well into dark. Yeah, so we, we knew we weren't going to build it on the day, so the, the, the prep work was essential in the case. And yeah, you're right. I mean, there's a video of us in my garden, and we're there till, what was it, 11 o'clock? 11 o'clock at night, yeah. Yeah, building the shoulder hubs in the dark, using a phone for a torch to get the last few bits yeah. screwed together. Um, yeah, it didn't sound too badly. Yeah, uh, and then we decided with Artu's body not to skin it because neither of us had used that skin and frame. We wanted to get Mark's watchful eye over it, so we decided to skin on the day. Yeah, uh, we should talk about and, this. Yeah, and we gave Chris Williams the legs. He was in charge of legs. Uh, I did help him build the first set of legs. I'll let you yes. explain the rest. <laughs> yeah, so I get a, you know, I get a text message and a, and a photo saying, "Is this right?" And it's the leg. Well, as you're looking down at it like this, it's like, um, 
no, that's not right. How did you manage to do that? It's a frame. How's, how's it ended up twisted? I don't know. We just glued it together and it just ended up twisting. So like, uh, hey. yeah, I think that's, you might be able to heat that up and get it back together, maybe. Not very hopeful. And then cue to a picture of Chris stood on top of a leg trying to, something like a circle, trying to flatten it out. Never going to work. Flat, it's a funny flat picture. piece of wood, just surfing Chris. Yeah, it, it was never going to work, but it's funny. Yeah. Uh, um, and you'll see that in one of the videos because it, it was just too good not to put in. Um, but Chris then took it upon himself to contact Mark. Uh, he dealt with Mark and arranged for a replacement leg for the really twisted one, um, which he, he then brought to the, the build day. Um, meanwhile, we had the likes of uh, Nick Harbour, making battery boxes in the background. Chris Carpenter building an electronics board that was ready just to drop into the body. We could make an attachment. It would be ready. It was all built on a, a cutting board. And uh, lastly, but by no means least, we had uh, Mark Lee building um, the feet and the drive system uh, and the center wheel for the completed droid, which he uh, utilizing, I um, can't remember the name of his drives. Astro drives, is it? Astro drives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, um, Astro drives and then the, the rest of the styrene kit for the feet. Um, we had offers of help from uh, further builders who turned up on the day, but like the call was starting to come together. Q trying to organize a day. We had loads of fun trying. We had an original day planned. We had lots of people volunteered because it was a good day. And Q, the extension of lockdown. Yeah, which actually helped us in a way because it gave us more time to do the prep work. But it did mean that we, a lot of droid builders had to drop out because of the new date. Once we actually yeah. decided what date it was, um, they just couldn't make it. And let's face it, it's getting to some holidays, people going away. You go off and do things with their kids, that sort of thing. And yeah. rightly so. And yeah, so we drove to Worcester and loaded up the car and drove to Worcester and turned up in Loz's back garden. Yeah. So we had Chris and Mark traveling together because Mark went up to Chris's the day before. Uh, we had Mark, Lee and Dave Lee traveling down together. We had Steve Parks arriving by the most arduous train journey I have ever heard of. Yeah, Birmingham to Worcester via Harvest. It's a different, yeah. different one, I admit, yeah. Yeah, so Los Angeles um, had to go pick it up from uh, Shrub Hill, I think, in the end. Yeah. Um, but everyone turned up on the day, and so we got there. We found Mark and Chris starting to set up, uh, unloaded their tools. Um, Myself and Andy unloaded like the frame, everything we'd built so far, uh, all our tools, everything we could think of. We didn't want to leave anything that we might need later. Um, and then Mark and David turned up later. Laws provided lots and lots of drink. There was ample yeah. refreshment on the day. And snacks. Uh, I get the snacks. And snacks. Lots of snacks. Um, and then as, as it approached lunch, Lord fed us with pizza, which uh, Chris ate uh, and was very happy. The vast majority of it. I, I do remember like when the pizza showed up, Chris being like a makeup, his, his head just turned and swung. Before Loz had even come into the garden with the pizza. <laughs> he was like, I smell pizza. Like... <laughs> but none of the stuff we did that day was done at a fast pace. It was all done at a, a pace we were all comfortable with. Everyone had varying skill levels. I'd never got a styrene droid, as I mentioned before. I think uh, it's Steve fair had to never say built that... a droid. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that we worked at a pace that was comfortable. There was no pressure to finish, but we all wanted to do as much do... as possible. Yeah. 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 Um, and everybody learned bits on the day. We, we all helped each other. Mark gave us a casting eye over our skin placements and, and helped us with with the bits we were not sure on, you know, not placement of the skins, but like 
when you're talking about millimeter differences causing huge issues around that huge circumference, I, it was just good to get an experienced droid builder's opinion. And uh, at the end, we had uh, Mark and Nick working on the drives, Chris and uh, Mark Tadjo working on the legs, me and Andy working on the body. Um, there was Steve Sanding, he became Chief Sander for the day, uh, yeah. did an excellent job helping us. Um, and we ended up, uh, sort of eight, nine o'clock at night with these parts Easy, being put yeah. together. We, yeah. we realized we had the shoulder hubs on wrong. My fault. There, Sorry. Uh, there was a particular droid builder who was happy to point out it would take us less time to remove the shoulder hubs and the links if we had simply used wing nuts. Bye, Chris. There you go, Chris. Um, and we just, we just went through it. We, we pushed on because it got to a point we almost had a standing droid. We had to get this droid standing. Yeah. So we stayed into the dark, working under lights, getting this droid stood on its own three wheels. Um, and, and had a, a really good final push at the end. But then what we thought was, let's get it to standing, um, Mark was suddenly uh, almost driven at that point to say, I don't just want standing, I want the dome on this droid, because the dome was already made, and I'm really pushed to get all the mounting stuff in there, the Lazy Susan in, so we could mount Loz's dome. And we did. Um, and we did. But it, it was also that point of, I'm looking at it and going, the, the, the cabling's there. The control system's built, it's just plug in and play. The the battery yeah. holders are built. It's like if we just had another hour, we could get it rolling. Not only with a head on, we could get it rolling. And unfortunately yeah. it just ran out of time. Yeah. But Q we then got the droid loaded inside, all panically cleaned in the dark and cleared the, the garden of all the detritus and tools. Um, and we left Laws uh, and his wife to look at the droid, where we were, come to terms with where it was going to be stored in the house, uh, and, and to, <laughs> yeah. to, to give us his opinion on the day's work. Needless to say, he was happy. It was phenomenal. I cannot thank enough those people that took part. They are John Gowan, Chris Williams. Andrew Smith, Mark Tadgell, Mark Lee, his brother Dave Lee, Steve Parks, and Chris Carpenter and Nick Harbour. Because of you, I now have a droid that is ready for painting. Thank you so, so much. So as you can see there, a very happy droid builder, and uh, but we're not gonna leave it there, no. We're, we're going to get it finished. We're going to get it painted. We're going to get the electronics in. We're, we're going to get him rolling. Yeah. So uh, the uh, so part of that will be maybe a couple of pre visits by my myself and Andy who are nearby. But we are planning to have Loscom two. Uh, hopefully that will be lead to a painted droid uh, yeah. that we can then get assembled and driving at a future time as well. There's going to be priming, putting, sanding, filling. We know it's not all going to get done in one day, which is why I say maybe a pre-visit by ourselves. But yeah, hopefully we'll get to see more builders there on those days. Get to see the same builders as well. Uh, and we'll let you know, let's see this droid rolling with Loz's control system, which I guess is worth talking about briefly. Andy, he's going Very for the briefly. yeah. So obviously Loz has, hasn't got much. Uh, control over um, this arm. No, sorry, this arm. Um, so he needs to use one of these. One handed controller, shadow. It's Pandoran shadow, so for all intents and purposes. And it means he can do everything he needs to do with just the one hand. And should he gain more control over this hand, you can actually extend it to two with these controllers and more functionality later. Yeah. But this over that is a lot easier for him. But essentially, yeah. it gives him full control. But those electronics are all built ready. We literally just need to run wiring to the board, 
that we will drop in once painted and reassembled. So, yeah. Um, last thing to say, do remember there is a styrene frame up for auction. That is the frame we are talking about. It was an excellent frame. It's a really good system to build from. According yeah, he's to he's it, outbid builders. Sam. Outbid Sam. He really wants it, so it will bid in. Yeah. There's a really well painted and weathered pit droid. Please go whole hog on that because a lot of builders have been involved in that, Andy included. Um, there's a BB-8 frame. Again, get started with BB-8. Those those things are really good frames. The carry BB-8 frame, but don't bid on the mesh droid parts because I'm I, I'm getting those. Sorry, two six eBay. But we will we will see you at Loscon too. Uh, details should hit uh, some point in the future once we've organised when, where, and how. Um, and uh thank you all for all your help and to all the builders that turned up and helped on the day and in the pre-stuff i want to put my personal thanks there that was it was incredible to see this community doing what this community does best yes and you know thanks for me as well and it was just great to actually see people in the flesh uh, rather than on a tv screen and uh, as john said doing what we do best helping people even if it's one of our own in this case um but yeah, uh, no doubt we'll put more videos up of LOSCON rework and LOSCON 2 on the day as we've done before. So I guess that's kind of a shameless plug for our YouTube channel, isn't it? Uh, anyway, um... uh, but thanks to, and uh, let's go back to those back in the studio. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.